In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate how much work is required to compress the spring. So let's draw a picture. Let's say this is the original length of the spring. And we want to apply a force in order to compress the spring. And we want to compress it by 50 centimeters, which is basically a half of a meter. So we want to compress it by 0.5 meters. How much work is required to do that? And we're given a spring constant K, which is 500 newtons per meter. The spring constant tells you how stiff or how difficult it is to compress the spring. So what this value tells us is that in order to compress the spring by one meter, we're going to require 500 newtons of force to compress it by just one meter. But how do we use this information to calculate the work done? The work done by a force is equal to the force times the displacement. So for instance, let's say if we have an object and we apply a force of 200 newtons and we displace this object by five meters, the work done on that force or the work done by that force rather on this object is 200 times five, which is a thousand joules. But this is the work done by a constant force. When we're compressing the spring, the force that we need to do that is not constant. It's actually a variable force. That force increases. As we apply a force to compress the spring, there is another force that is going against the force that we're applying, and this is called the restoring force. The restoring force is equal to negative kx. So the more you compress the spring, the magnitude of the restoring force increases which means to compress the spring further, you have to increase this applied force. So here's the relationship between the force applied and the distance at which you compress the spring. That force increases. That force is equal to Kx. It's equal but opposite to the reactive force or the restoring force. If we want to calculate the work done by this variable force, what we need to do is calculate the area under the curve. The area for a rectangle is length times width, but for a triangle, it's one half base times height. The base of the triangle is X. The height is the force. Let's say if we focus on this point, and we can replace the force with kx. So the area under the curve is 1 half x times kx, or in other words, 1 half kx squared. Notice that this is the equation for the potential energy of a spring. If you want to calculate the elastic potential energy, it's equal to 1 half kx squared, which is equal to the work required to compress the spring. As you apply a force to compress the spring, that spring is acquiring potential energy. And that energy comes from the force doing work on the spring. So the work required to compress the spring is equal to the potential energy gained by compressing that spring. So we could use this formula to get the answer. The work required to compress the spring is 1 half kx squared. For those of you who want to use calculus to get the same answer or the same formula, here's what you can do. So starting with this equation, we have dw is equal to f dx, where the displacement is basically x because we're moving in the x direction. If we integrate both sides of this function on the left, we'll get the work, which is the integral of the force function times dx. Now the force function, we know it's f is equal to kx. 
so f is just kx. Now k is a constant, so we don't have to worry about that. So what we're really doing is we're integrating x to the first power. Using the power rule, it becomes x to the second power, you add 1, and then divide by this result. And of course, plus some constant c. So this will give us the work required, which is 1 half kx squared. So that's the other way in which you could get that formula. But now let's go ahead and finish this problem. So we have 1 half times k, k is 500 newtons per meter, and then x squared. So x is 0.5 meters, and we're going to square it. So focusing on the units, k is newtons per meter, and then x squared, that's meters times meters. So you end up getting newtons times meters, which is the joule. So one newton times one meter gives you one joule. Point 0.5 times 500 times point 0.50 squared. That's 62.5 joules. So that's how much work is required to compress the spring by 50 centimeters. So this is the formula that you need in order to calculate the answer.